It was a quiet evening in Colorado Springs in 2012 when a local homeowner returned to his suburban house to find it completely ransacked. The front door was still locked, but inside it was chaos. Drawers were overturned, electronics gone, and personal belongings scattered across the floor. The homeowner was stunned. Everything of value had been taken, and whoever had done it had been careful. It seemed like a clean, professional job. No broken windows, no alarms triggered, and no signs of forced entry. The homeowner immediately called police, who arrived at the scene within minutes. They combed through the house, searching for any clues that could lead them to the culprit. The detectives dusted for fingerprints, inspected the entry points, and questioned the neighbors, but they quickly hit a dead end. No one had seen or heard anything. The burglars seemed to have vanished without a trace, leaving nothing behind but an empty house. With no initial evidence to go on, the case appeared as if it might turn cold. The detective in charge, however, wasn't ready to give up. As they made their final sweep through the house, something small caught his attention. An empty beer can sitting on the kitchen counter. The homeowner was certain it hadn't been there before. The detective's instinct told him that this might be a vital clue. Could the intruder have been so brazen or so careless to stop for a drink during the break-in? It seemed unlikely that a professional would make such an obvious mistake, but stranger things have happened in criminal investigations. The beer can was carefully bagged and sent to the crime lab for further analysis, just in case it held something useful. Still, without fingerprints or witnesses, it felt like a long shot. Weeks passed and the case didn't seem to be going anywhere. The homeowner grew increasingly frustrated and the police had no solid leads. The investigation was at a standstill. As far as anyone knew, the burglar was still out there, possibly planning his next heist. And the police were left waiting, wondering if they'd ever find the person responsible. Meanwhile, the beer can sat quietly in the evidence locker, waiting for its turn in the lab. It was just a slim hope in an otherwise dead-end case. Then one morning, the crime lab called with the results. They had found something. There was more on the can than just fingerprints. Embedded in the metal where the burglar had taken a swig was a crucial piece of evidence, DNA. While fingerprints could be smudged or incomplete, DNA was definitive. This wasn't just any clue. This was the smoking gun. The lab had managed to extract a full DNA profile from the saliva left on the rim of the beer can. The detectives immediately ran the DNA through CODIS, the national database that houses genetic information from previous offenders. It was a long shot, but if the burglar had any prior run-ins with the law, they might get a match. The detectives didn't have to wait long. The result came back faster than expected. Isaiah Garcia, a 35-year-old with a minor criminal record, popped up in the system. Garcia had been involved in petty theft and drug-related offenses, and his DNA was on file due to a previous arrest. The match was undeniable. Suddenly, everything fell into place. Garcia lived only a few miles away from the burglary site. His criminal history suggested that he had the knowledge to carry out the break-in, and now, with his DNA found at the scene, there was no doubt left about his involvement. With the warrant in hand, police moved swiftly. They arrested Garcia at his apartment where they discovered several of the stolen items still in his possession. During questioning, Garcia initially denied everything, claiming he had nothing to do with the burglary. But when confronted with the DNA evidence, his story soon began to fall apart. Cornered, he eventually confessed to the crime admitting that he had broken into the house, taken the valuables, and foolishly helped himself to a beer from the fridge. Garcia's arrogance had been his downfall. Thinking he'd left no trace, he hadn't counted on forensic science catching up to him. That single beer can, discarded without a second thought, was all it took to seal his fate. In court, Garcia was found guilty of burglary and theft. Given his criminal history and the overwhelming evidence against him, 
the judge sentenced him to eight years in prison. His attempt at a clean getaway had failed spectacularly, and now he'd be paying the price for years to come. For the homeowner, there was some sense of justice. The stolen items were mostly recovered, but the real victory came from knowing that the man who violated the safety of his home would be behind bars for quite some time. The case became a reminder to both police and criminals alike. No matter how perfect a crime may seem, sometimes the smallest mistake a simple sip from a beer can can be enough to bring even the most careful burglar to justice. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.